Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made my son's costume. He is going to be Charmander for Halloween. And this is what I'm going to use. I got fleece at the craft store. I bought yellow and orange. Two, it's two yards of orange. The yellow already had it. I had most of it. The white too is just white fleece. And I'm using black and turquoise cotton as well as snaps because I'm not using a zipper matching thread i don't have the the one for the other ones i have i'm using a pencil and some cardboard to trace my patterns to trace the patterns are pretty simple i'm gonna start on the bottom as you can see on the pins are folded in half and i left around two and a half inches from the bottom and one inch on each side and on top is like an inch and a half just to leave enough casing for the elastic so i can um do so I can apply it to the pants. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna cut all my patterns in a little bit. For the jacket, I'm doing the same thing, leaving an inch from each side, except from the back. On the back, I'm gonna trace the pattern as close as I can to the fold because my jacket is, I fold, it, I fold my jacket in half just so I didn't have to make up such a big pattern. So I'm going to trace as close as I can, as you can tell, this is what I'm doing right here. And for the neck, I'm going to do it close to, if anything, just a little bit for to attach the hoodie. For the sleeves, I'm going to leave half an inch. I don't need that much because I don't want them super big. And I'm just using the same jacket. I'm going to fold in here and on that fold, I'm going to leave half an inch. You can adjust your measures on however you're going to use them. So I got those patterns right here. Now I'm going to do the hoodie part and I'm going to trace as well. Leaving about an inch or something like that from the hat so I can sew it. And also from the bottom it's going to be like an inch so I can attach it to the whole jacket. So I already have my patterns cut out and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them on the fabric. And since I need two, I'm just going to put it in two pieces of fabric this way and I'm going to cut around. I hold, I held the pattern with just pins so it will help me cut them faster. And here, this is just a fold. I folded the fabric so I can have one large piece instead of two big ones. This is for the jacket so that's why I'm doing it like this. For this, I need three pieces which is the whole back which is this one and then the front which is two cuts of the fabric of the of this pattern the way it is so I'm gonna go ahead and show you also how I made the tail the tail I'm using just um, trying to wing it the way I wanted to see how big I I need it and I'm using a 24 inch tail that's what I'm gonna trace here the pattern I'm just gonna do a little curve just try to picture how you want your tail and this is what I came out with and I'm just gonna cut two pieces of the fleece to sew it all together and at the same time I'm gonna use this same length for the other part of the tail later I'm going to now trace the yellow part of the belly for Charmander and just trying to eye it on how I want it. This is the pattern. And I fold my yellow fabric this way. And I'm just going to hold it with pins. And this is going to give me a whole circle belly. So I'm just going to cut all around my pattern. Just leaving a little edge so I can attach it to the jacket. You don't have to leave a lot. Probably like a quarter of an inch or an, a half an inch depending on how much you want to leave. So I'm going to cut this and I'm also going to cut some for the tail. As I told you, I'm just using the length, how, like how high it is. And I'm going to just do like a little mini triangle, like an oval triangle this way. And I'm going to set it, set all my fire eggs aside. This is the pants. I'm going to start sewing the area that goes to the crotch area I'm gonna sew just this is the butt area in a way and I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch as well as you can tell this is one side of the pants so I'm gonna turn it on the right side 
the and I'm and since I already have the other ones too, I'm just gonna place them this way and I'm gonna I'm gonna sew the edges which will be the hip. I'm gonna close it, do a zigzag stitch so it would stay in place and I'm gonna go all around and I'm gonna do the other hip side as well. This is just to close the pants. This is the way I do it. And since I already have that, I'm gonna finish the other side as well. Now that you have your size, we're gonna do the middle part. We're gonna close the pants so it doesn't look like a skirt, which at this point does. I'm gonna hold it real good and I'm just gonna cross, as you can tell, that's the middle part. And I'm gonna continue until the other leg and we pretty much have our pants done. Now it's time to just do the, the uh, bottom part of the hem. I'm gonna fold it and I'm gonna start sewing around it. I just removed my bottom part of my sewing machine so it will be easier because they're a little smaller. So I'm just gonna do a simple, a simple stitch, a straight stitch. And I'm gonna close it up and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. Just try to make sure that the that the bottoms are the same length. That way you don't mess it up. For the jacket, the jacket we are going to place our three pieces together. I have this and it's gonna start looking like a vest. So I'm just gonna hold them with pins for now so I can start sewing them in a little bit. I'm gonna start with the side panel with the side which will be like the belly area and I'm gonna place I'm gonna sew them together like this just that that area right here and now the shoulders I already did the other side as well I'm gonna sew the shoulders and we are going to set it aside for a little bit once we do this just finish the other area too and do a zigzag stitch now for the sleeves this is uh, this is kind of complicated a little <laughs> it's kind of easy and complicated at the same time i'm gonna place them both sides facing each other the right side and as you can tell i'm gonna try to align them in the center that's the sleeve and that's the vest like the jacket vest so i'm gonna hold it with a pin and then i'm gonna start sewing from the center down but I'm not gonna close it completely. I'm gonna leave a little gap in there because we're gonna close it when we finally close the sleeve. So I'm gonna go on to the other side of from the center to the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna sew it right there and then I'm gonna make both ends meet on the bottom and sew the whole thing real good so it won't come out. Now that I have the sleeve attached, I just need to close the bottom of the sleeve right here. As you can tell, I did the zigzag stitch and all my sewing. And this is what I'm talking about. I left a little piece open in there. And now I'm going to take from the armpit area. And I'm going to start sewing to the end of the sleeve. Just with a straight stitch and then I finish it up with a regular stitch as you can tell I also finish it up the um, the end of the sleeve with as well as I did with the pants so this is what it looks like it's already taking shape of a jacket now I'm gonna attach the yellow belly for Charmander I think I should have done it a little higher but it still worked so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna place the whole yellow part here and I'm gonna just cut it that part that I threw over there is for the pants and I'm gonna cut this in half to place on each side of the jacket so I'm gonna cut it like this and now I'm gonna start placing some pins to hold it down because I'm gonna sew it and I just wanna hide the cut so I'm just gonna leave a little area right there and that's gonna that is going to help me when I'm sewing. So I'm doing the same thing for the pants. I left a little edge and I'm just gonna hold it with the pins. So I selected my yellow thread and I'm gonna start sewing the belly part, just a regular stitch or you can do a zigzag stitch, it's up to you. I'm just gonna finish it up, all of them, both sides, and I'm also going to do the same thing with the pants. 
so I'm gonna finish this and now I'm gonna take the pants and I'm gonna sew the belly area of Charmander into the pants so it can continue on the costume so just attach the whole thing and we're gonna set it aside for a little bit now this area is just closing the seam for the jacket the where the jacket is gonna close so it's, so it's just so about half an inch in here and all along now I'm gonna make the hat I'm just gonna close the top part of the hat this way and I'm going to start also making a seam for the edge of the hat which will be facing the face I'm just gonna leave like about an inch I'm gonna do a straight stitch and I'm just gonna so it doesn't so it doesn't show you the cuts and it has that casing here so I'm just gonna do it this way real quick and now that I have it I'm going to attach it to my jacket and I place all the right sides uh, facing each other and I started sewing it on the neck as you can tell um, just sew it all around try to place it the centers together for the pants to so we can finish them up we're gonna add the elastic I just measure with some uh, with a elastic of one and a half inches and I'm just gonna close it here make sure that it fits your kid if your kid is around just you know uh, trace it like just measure him if you can and just try and just close just cut the uh, the elastics or about that so we are going to start sewing the case for the elastic just pull it out and start sewing about half an inch below below it so you don't sew on top of the elastic because it's gonna mess it up so it can be a little tricky just pull tight and start sewing and this is what it looks like so that worked pretty great that's the belly of Charmander too now I'm gonna add the snaps you can start sewing a zipper if you want I decided to go with snaps so it was gonna be faster and cheaper because I already had them I didn't have to spend a lot more so I'm just adding snaps just follow the directions for the snaps so I have a video on how to apply them on cloth diapers but they're pretty simple to figure it out the next thing I'm going to do is draw charm on this tail so I'm gonna use the tail that I have and I'm just gonna start drawing the flames uh, following a picture that I saw on online and I'm gonna take some red fleece that I had and also yellow felt so I'm gonna pin it together I'm gonna start cutting and have my flame ready I put two pieces of fleece together so I could cut the flame and fill it up. Now I've, I traced the form from the same pattern that I had for the yellow one. I just got some in the middle. If you notice charm in this tail, that kind, it kind of looks like it. So I'm going to start cutting the yellow felt as well. And I'm going to place this, this piece of yellow felt on top of the red one and I'm just going to do a simple... Um, zigzag stitch all around it so I can put them together I didn't do a lot of detail in this because it's just a tail I mean you can do it nicely if you want so this is what it looks like now that I have my two pieces I attach the yellow part to the other red one too I'm gonna close it with a zigzag stitch you can totally uh, you know flip the fabric if you want it will be kind of hard because of the corners and all the edges everything that's why I decided to do it like that and I started also closing my tail just one side of it the, the side with the curve that's the one that I close because that's where I'm gonna attach the yellow area and I'm gonna be using some polyfill for the tail so the yellow remember the yellow piece that I cut for the tail I'm gonna attach it right here using the same method I used for the belly just folding a little and placing the pins and then I'm gonna sew around it that way I can have my tail strip attached I'm gonna sew all around here and then I'm gonna sew on the other side as well and it should stay there and then close the tail finish closing the tail so we can fill it up and have it all ready 
just flip it to the right side and we're gonna finish it up that way I'm gonna use the polyfill to fill up the uh, flame and also the tail and once I have the the flame all filled up I'm just gonna attach it to the tail to the end of the tail and I'm going to sew it with a zigzag stitch just to make sure that I will stay there especially because my son was playing with the tail a lot so I'm just gonna make sure that it stays right there and now it's time to fill up the whole tail I I made it kind of fluffy so it will look cute and it will stay in place so I'm just gonna fill it up with a bunch of polyfill and make it look nice like Charmander's uh, I don't want it all wobbly so I'm gonna make it stiff enough so it stays upright and I did use a snap to hold it into the jacket and in the pants that way it was gonna be easier to hold I'm just gonna close this and this is where I'm gonna be applying my snaps I'm just gonna sew this so I can hide what I did there and I'm going to finish this use a, a zigzag stitch to have it closed and so I don't have any polyfill escaping from me I'm gonna add the snaps on the tail I used three snaps on the tail and the same three snaps on the pants that way I could hold them together and I'm just gonna once I finish with the snaps on the tail I'm just gonna mark my pants where the snaps are going to be kinda winging it in here I didn't measure anything it's all by eye so I'm gonna add the snaps on the pants as well for so it can hold the tail and it can be removable if you wanna wash the costume I wash the costume after I finish now for the eyes I'm gonna use this heat and one light and I already have my pattern for the eyes of Charmander so I'm gonna put them on my fabrics as you can tell I already have it here and I'm gonna start heat I'm gonna start bonding everything together just gluing the fabrics into the other fabric and I'm gonna form the eyes they're pretty simple so it shouldn't take long you you can stitch like I did or you can just leave it like that it should work as well if you don't want to stitch the eyes I just wanted to finish them up so I'm gonna glue the eyes into the hoodie where I think it should where I think it will look more like a charm in their face and I'm going to draw the nostrils as well just with a pencil because I'm gonna sew it either way and now I'm gonna take I cut a little triangle to make the uh, fangs that Charmander has and I'm gonna just attach them with my sewing machine here at the bottom of the hoodie so it can look like his fangs and now I'm gonna with a zigzag stitch I'm gonna sew all around the eyes with the different color threads and just to attach them so they won't fall off on the washer I mean you can use the the other heated bun that is uh, the regular that you don't need to sew and that will be easier for you too if you want to do that and once I have that I'm gonna hand sew the nose trails it will be easier than using the the sewing machine so I'm just using a double thread um, stitch over here I use two pieces of thread together on my needle and this is what it looks like so my son wasn't home to try him out but when he came home I, I kind of recorded him playing with it so this is what it looks like it's just the jacket with the hoodie and the hoodie has the eyes and the and the fangs and uh, these are the pants so it's pretty cool I mean I was gonna make little boots too but I don't know it was like too much already so this is going to be his Halloween costume and he totally loved it he was playing with it for a while he tried it on, he didn't want to take it off. It was something that he really wanted for Halloween. So he was just messing around with his costume. Here. I like it. I think it's cool. You like it, baby? Te gusta? Yeah. Now you have a tail like Peach and Jax. You have a Jax and la Peach. So this is what it looks like. I spent $14 in the costume. I already have some of the materials, but the, the, qual the quality of it is way better. The fabric is warm and you can reuse it for 
other like for a party too so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below bye